Today I'm going to show you a new plugin from Pangolin called Essential Visuals. Essential Visuals is a plugin for Virtual DJ. It allows you to do SMS text to screen and SMS voting better than any other plugin currently available. It also provides the capability of showing pictures, non-moving text, scrolling text of various forms, and putting borders around all of this. Essential Visuals is highly optimized, requiring very little CPU time. And Essential Visuals supports full alpha blending of all components, so you can overlay the output onto other virtual DJ video, such as live video or music videos. So let's take a look at how all this works. Essential Visuals is a video effect plugin. Just go to Effects, then Video Effects, and you'll see the Essential Visuals plugin listed in the list. Just click on it and then select Activate to start the plugin. For this demonstration, we're going to use the Virtual DJ's video output window. But normally you'd configure Virtual DJ to output full screen onto the secondary monitor. Here you see the Essential Visuals plugin at work. This layout shows an animated picture in the upper right hand corner, SMS text voting in the upper left hand corner, and SMS text to screen chatting in the lower portion. Essential Visuals user interface is down here. And as you can see, it's based on a concept called panels. Each panel is resizable and movable and contains content. As you resize each panel, the content is automatically sized to fit that panel. Text panels will automatically resize the text to fit. Same way with voting panels and picture panels. There's also a border around each panel and the border style and color are fully adjustable. So let's see how easy it is to create your own layout. We'll go down here to New to create a new layout. And now the layout is completely blank. Normally the first thing you do when creating a layout is to add a background image, so let's do that. Just click on Open Background Image. I'll click on this one. And now we have our background image. So now we can add some panels to it. We'll come over here to Panel, Create New Panel, we'll say we wanted to create a text panel. This will let people know where they need to send their text message. So now that we have our text panel, we'll just move it into place. We'll put this right at the top of the screen. We'll resize it just like this. To edit the text panel and actually add some text to it, all you have to do is double click on it. We'll come over here to text panel options and add some text. We'll change the color, and there we go. I want the text to be a little bit bigger, so we'll just resize that panel, and there we go. Next, we'll add another panel, which is going to be the message panel, where the SMS text-to-screen messages will appear. Just say create new panel, SMS chat panel, there we go. Just move it into place. As you can see, we already have some chat messages coming into place. And we can edit the contents of this panel just by double-clicking on it as well. That font looks a little bit too big to me, so we'll come over here to font, change the font size to be a bit smaller. Just like that. And maybe not bold. And the chat panel options, we can actually control the color of every other scrolling message. So we can make them, for example, white and yellow. We have a lot of different control over this, whether we show a nickname or not. Um, so you get the idea. I'll just go ahead and click OK. We'll add one more panel to this, a scrolling text panel, just so I could show you the options of that. Create a new panel, marquee, that's what we call the scrolling text panel. Create. Just like everything else, we'll just kind of move that panel into place. Put this down in the lower portion. Double click. We'll add some scrolling text. Add text. Welcome to Club Tech. 
we'll make that white. We'll add a picture to that, sort of like the CNN logo that scrolls through. And then we'll add one more text. Don't get to tip your picture. And maybe we'll make this yellow, make it really stand out. <clears throat> and with each one of these panels, we can control the border, the thickness of the border, as you can see there, the style of the border, the color of the border, a lot of different controls that you have over this display. So you can see how easy it is. Within just a minute or two, we've created this brand new layout for our club. Show you a couple more things. If we wanted to change this into a voting only type layout, we could do that. We'll just delete this panel. And next we'll add a voting panel. So we click on panel, create a new panel, SMS voting panel, click create. We could just move that panel right into place wherever we want it. We could change how that voting panel is visualized by double clicking on it, editing the options. For example, we can show the percentages or the counts. We can not display the values and only display the bar graph, just like that. We can display how the bar graph appears. And we can display the text color. So a lot of control over how voting is visualized. We also include a number of layouts with the package. I'll load a couple of them just to show you. Kind of a turntable background style. Another similar one with headphones. We have some holiday themed ones. A couple in here that are kind of cool mist. Nice celebration theme one here. A little bit bolder. This one will probably get the party going. Some sports related ones. This one's good for a kid's uh, birthday party. Essential Visual supports full alpha blending of all components, so you can control the degree of transparency. This allows you to use Essential Visuals along with other contents such as live video or music videos. I'll demonstrate with the camera plugin. If the camera plugin is the last thing we activate, then it's going to be on top of everything. But if we click on Essential Visuals, and we reactivate that, then Essential Visuals is on top. Now what we can do is go to Background, and then Background Attributes, and here's the background. You can see I have an alpha level 255. As I bring this down, you see this fades out, and if I bring it all the way down, what you see is it's completely transparent now. And we have the live video, and we have these panels on top of the live video. Now what we, what we can do is we can double click here, and adjust the alpha level of the background color of each panel. So you can see how you can overlay essential visuals output on top of live video and even change the background color if we want to. Like this. Have to change the color of the voting text as well if we wanted to do that, but that's no problem. So you can see how you can use essential visuals along with live video or music video to do chatting, voting, scrolling text, static text, or anything else. No problem. And lastly, essential visuals can put a border around the other video from Virtual DJ. So you don't have to have the text messaging or the voting or anything else, you can just use essential visuals to generate a border. For example here, if I do new layout, just completely create a blank layout here. And I say background attributes, and I say I want to create a border. And 
and you can see that it's already creating the border. And I can change the border color, change the border style, like this. Just put a solid colored border around the video without having any little gradient to it like that. And if I want to, what I could do is actually add a panel, like for example, a basic panel here. The panel naturally has a border to it and has some background transparency, but that could be changed pretty easily. Just like that. Change the border size. So it's no problem to create borders on top of the other video with Essential Visuals. Essential Visuals is really a way too complex of a plugin to be demonstrated in a short video like this. But we do have a help file with the video. So you can see it here. Shows you each one of the features of the Essential Visuals plugin goes through each one of the tools, how to use everything, how to work with the panels. So it's really very helpful at explaining things. There's one more noteworthy thing, which is you might notice that the CPU gauge here is kind of riding upward, whereas earlier in the video I said that this uses hardly any CPU time at all. And that's true. What's using the CPU time, and if you notice that the video is not very smooth, the reason has nothing to do with the Essential Visuals plugin. If I deactivate it, you'll see that this still stays high. And even if I turn off the camera, you'll see it still stays high. The reason why this is high is because of I'm using Camtasia to create this video, and it is Camtasia which is taking up a lot of CPU time and also causing the video to be a little bit jerky. So let's discuss the text messaging portion a bit more. You might be wondering where the text messages come from for the text to screen and for the text voting portions. The text messages are fed to Virtual DJ by a separate program called IMU. IMU is really easy to use because it works just like an email program. There's an inbox, an outbox, sent messages, deleted items, and some other folders here that are specific to text messaging. Text messages come into IMU and are filtered by a sophisticated word filter. They're then sent to Virtual DJ and can be approved automatically or manually in this area called the chat inbox. You can get back to IMU with a simple alt tab, so it's really easy to switch back and forth between Virtual DJ and IMU. Within IMU, that's where you prepare the voting tasks. You can have a lot of voting tasks already pre-made. Here you can see I have the best dancer active, but what we can do is we can have a party with a contest of what's Will's shoe size, and the guest of the party can try to guess what his shoe size is. Makes for a fun game. We can also have one, who is Will's favorite sports team? This is another party favorite. And of course at clubs, What's your favorite beer? So IMU takes up very little CPU time too, so you'll be sure to get the maximum performance from your PC. It all fits together rather nicely and works great together. For more information about the Essential Visuals plugin and IMU, go to www.pangolinplugins.com.